Now, I'm assuming you're gonna want certain objects as well. Five weapon racks, five armor stands. I think I'm gonna put those in the throne room. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I didn't specify a quality for that. I don't know if we're making enough to guarantee that it'll happen. Um, it's possible what I'll end up with is some low quality tables and chairs sitting in our stockpile, therefore not triggering the job to continue to work, but not being installed because they're not masterwork. So what we may have to do is just use up those tables and chairs or just forcibly say, uh, listen, just make me another 30 tables and 30 chairs and just to hope that we get a bunch of High level ones. Furniture, bed, material. Maybe I'll put, I don't normally do this, but how about I put a few beds in this room? I don't know if it makes any sense in any way whatsoever. I could also look at specifically. Hmm, specifically, what kind of material the ruler likes and then making things out of that, but. See, cabinets, beds, chairs, like these things are going to get um, constantly made. Oh, I didn't actually set the, uh, the the quality filter. You know what? They're probably mostly going to come out high enough quality anyway. Let's do those. And I know you're going to want a certain number of coffers as well. I'll give lots. So now already, if we look over here. Have you gone and claimed a bedroom already? You may have. Oh, you probably already had one, Herpeter. Um, okay, pause. Ebb. Find your room. Yep. That's why it's counting some furniture here. And, of course, you didn't have the other rooms assigned yet. If I do this, and then if I come back down over here and set up bedroom. We're on paint mode. Good. Like that. Except... Office. Burn room is just a high quality office. And dining hall. Like so. Sign. Ebb. Done. Now. Eight chests. We'll need two more. And it is, I know it is counting as like the furniture being satisfied, even though it's just in this ghost image thing. I think it's just a, sort of a side effect of how um, DF hack does the job. I don't think it's actually an abuse because it's still not adding the quality. Okay, so we know the furniture is going to be taken care of eventually. And you have rooms they are not fancy enough yet. Makes sense. We don't have the furniture. We haven't engraved anything. And you don't yet have a tomb, but that's being worked on now. I'm going to, well, I guess for this, we still want it pretty, pretty, pretty fancy. And I guess the same thing with the burial thing. Oops, don't search. That in there. I guess this counts as furniture that you own as well. We just put a bunch of like high quality stuff in here. A lot of times I end up putting statues. And again, with the engraving, we're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and tomb these except a sign. All right, so now you have all the rooms you want. Nothing's in red. They're just not fancy enough yet. Uh, the tomb itself is definitely going to need work because just these two pieces of furniture isn't going to be enough to give you the quality. Uh, do we just start the engravings? How good is our engraver? You're skilled. If it's not fancy enough, we'll just fill it with platinum statues. All right. I'll just start with the tomb first. Wait for the, some of this furniture to be installed, and then we'll see what else. And I do want to engrave um, this room here as well. It's very important that everyone considers to be a, a legendary uh, dining hall, if at all possible. I think it's possible that with the overlapping dining hall and tavern, that it might be possible for people to get happy like experiencing performances and things while they're just here for dinner i'm not sure if they, like they have to explicitly watch the performance to get that bonus or not or simply being in the room is enough 
and the watch performance task is just to get them into the room. I don't know. Yeah, we're still waiting for a lot of stone furniture to be done. Oh, um, you know what I should do? For all this, ooh, it's gonna be hard to do in bulk and say all of this should be top priority, although I guess you kind of already are. Um Because if something is masterwork, it's got to get installed here as quickly as possible. You know what? We'll deal with it. If we find that one of these never gets done, we'll do that. All right. You know what? And with that in mind, too, is I'll go ahead and do the engraving immediately, too. And did construction. All right. I'm going to take a look at it in a second here. I think the auto unsuspend job is going to um, appropriately do the furniture to not block things. We'll see. All right. What did you mandate? Make spears. With that in mind, since we're going to be making spears all the time, perhaps rather than uh, just use short swords, like steel short swords or silver war hammers kind of exclusively as our melee weapons of choice, maybe we consider making one squad um, later on after we've fulfilled this demand, you know, maybe five times, right? And we have 10 spears sitting around. Maybe we should make a squad of spear wielders. Now, spears are actually quite good weapons in Dwarf Fortress um, when it comes to defeating enemies with high armor values, I believe. I might be wrong, you might want to, you should probably double check the wiki on this, but I believe uh, spears, because the little sharp spear point, is really good at penetrating armor. Because it's a small impact area, it's not good at doing large amounts of damage, but if you're fighting something that is well armored and causing your your slashing weapons to bounce off, the spears do a pretty good job. One of the reasons short swords are considered potentially to be the um, the best all round weapon these days is because short swords can do both slashing and piercing attacks. They, they, they mix it up. So sometimes a short sword stab, which is good against high armor enemies, and sometimes they slash, which is better for doing more damage overall. But yeah, um, we could have an army that's literally like specifically meant to be the the armor slayers, especially against like tough forgotten beasts. They would do a pretty good job. And then because we're going to have a bunch of spears kicking around and, you know, the queen's never going to want us to sell these. So that's something to consider for now, though. I'm just going to start building steel spears. I wonder you could probably melt them down and not get a complaint. They don't want you to sell them, but maybe destroying them is OK. Certainly, we can consider doing it for anything that's not masterwork. Right now, we've got tons of raw material, so I'm not worried about setting up melting jobs. We've got tons of magnetite to kick around, but at some point, that might be something we consider. Yeah. Are you unhappy there, Claw? What's your What's your problem? You just had a bad thought. Frustrated, unable to play. Are you too busy? Maybe you're too busy. Hmm. Unmet need, pray. I do that. If I tell you to only do assigned task and then don't give you an assigned task, what do you do with yourself? Or do you just default? You might just finish that job. Oh, you're going to attend a meeting. You'll probably go and unload yourself. I, I was going to say, I wonder if you're set to only do a time assigned task and then you don't have one, do you default to doing everything again? Oh! Everyone's coming and doing the engraving. That's not what I want. Only select to do this. Even though I don't have anyone to select, I didn't realize it would change this up for us. Uh, I think they're still going to finish it, so that we're probably going to have a bunch of low-quality engravings here, which is certainly not what I wanted. Oh, I might have been able to force them if I just temporarily... This is going to interrupt a lot of tasks. Let's say I could temporarily civilian burrow everyone and get them to stop that. Because, yeah, there's some probably pretty crummy engravings that happen there. Now... You're no longer the most angry. You're still pretty cranky. I mean, slaying, you're definitely not as busy as a child, I would hope. Maybe you're still hauling all the time. That's entirely possible. Panic reliving being attacked. Oh, yeah, you were attacked by a, a monkey when you were young. Everything else is, like, looking pretty good memories, right? Ooh, you had a drink without using a goblet, cup, or mug. That's surprising. I would have thought we'd have, like, unlimited amounts of that. Maybe it did it happen a long time ago, and maybe we just didn't have stuff around. Okay, instruments, mugs, there we go. So the tavern is equipped. I don't know if we need like a random mug stockpile here, but again, we have mugs sitting all over the place. This should be a non-issue. Bunch of things have to be carried out here. Actually, not as many as I might have thought. 
A lot of dwarves moving to the surface. Oh, you're clearing out the garbage in the butcher shop. Yep. So yeah, again, pros and cons to having the butcher shop on the surface. It is far away from where most of our dwarves are. And it does generate like a lot of debris, so it does tend to generate a lot of hauling jobs, but it's better for the miasma and we probably you know, store the refuse out on the surface anyway. You can do like a refuse um, pit somewhere in your base. That's like, as long as it's behind a few doors, it's going to minimize the chance that any miasma leaks out anywhere real. Your dwarves might get slightly exposed going in and out. Or, or theoretically, we could do an actual... Can you do an actual refuse pit where you're dumping things down a hole just by via a stockpile? I guess if you also connected up to a mining cart so it was getting dumped. Because if you put a dumping zone next to a hole and you mark something to be dumped, it'll get thrown into the hole. But refuse is a stockpile thing. All right, Lila, what do you want? Uh, wrong button. Lila the mayor wants crowns. You have a few different things you want. All right. Rock crown. You know what I need for a DF hack script is something that just runs and anytime there's a, a job asked as a mandate, it immediately queues up the job and you can specify a material, right? Like, or, or like a, you set up a, like a preference queue, use rocks first. If that's available for whatever is being asked for use, you know, um, pigtail cloth next or this or that or whatever. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that, maybe because the material part of it, maybe it's too complicated. Or I guess you could have a GUI. That every time a request comes in, it has a new entry, just like how Auto Butcher shows up, right? So it's like, oh, there must be a noble asking for crowns. And it shows up in the list. And if you want to automate it, you click, okay, there's a crown one. You click it to say, yeah, automate it, and then specify the material. So crown, click, make it out of rock, click, done. So then from now on, whenever a mandate comes out for a crown, the, the script will automatically have some rock crowns. Just because, especially with this many freaking nobles, including the mayor, like Richie's the only one who's never going to make any request. Richie's like such a great baroness. Uh, we wish we could have just elevated you to be queen and not have anyone else. I mean, at this point, we could have um, Grand G and even Ebfin have an accident. Their roles will be inherited by someone else. Not necessarily. I don't know if there's a way to find out the the inheritance order. That might be handy. Oh, we made the spears quite quickly, apparently, because we finished that job. Now it's just don't export them. Sure. Fine. Fair. Uh, let me change your schedule to um, the staggered training, so you're not always doing it. I'm hoping you want to have any quite cranky dwarves soon. And yeah, I'm probably going to need another suite. Although we're still waiting for all the furniture to finish some of these jobs, so I guess I will wait on that for now before I ask. Because I want to I want to set up a captain of the guard. But yeah, we may have to wait a bit. See these X's here? These are jobs being forbidden from being worked on until the um, engraving here is finished. Just because... The furniture placement cancels out like smoothing and engraving for whatever reason. Petition. Oh, the pointy hall. Many members. Guild hall. Stoneworkers guild. Why is the stoneworkers guild called the pointy hall? But I will approve. This is our guild floor. So what we need to do is quickly. Oh, I'm on the wrong mode. All right. Quickly dig that out, please. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll do some super super low priority. Just do this if you're idle. You got nothing else to do. And then I can leave these as one. If you if you got to the point where you got here, just go ahead and finish them off. That's fine. Um, if you got nothing else to do, go ahead and dig out space for other guild halls. We might want to consider something similar for our temples, because I'm sure at some point. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet, but I guess we don't have a, I think we need 10 believers in a specific or 10 specific worshipers of a specific deity or belief system. And then they'll ask for a temple, which hasn't happened yet. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, I'm going to clear this filter. So anything is fine. And yeah, they'll be quite low on the list, which is fine because this is going to be a good way to dump maybe non masterwork doors that don't satisfy the other tasks. Now, we could set up more things like classrooms, 
it was our farmer's guild hall where I wanted everything in rows, almost like froze. Although I don't think that effect really came came off here. That's been done. Then we'll issue some smoothing, and then after that we'll figure out some furniture stuff. Uh, smooth there, just normal priority, please. And we'll set up the zone, so meaning area. And zones can share a wall. They can share a wall. I was doing it a little too big without complaining about the overlap. And they'll both benefit from the wall existing. Uh, again, we think engravings are only on one side, but otherwise. Done. Accept. Sign. New guild hall. And yeah, we can hide the established ones. It was the stone workers hall. It would almost be handy, like, show me things with, like, an active petition or some things with a guild that aren't established. Because that's usually what I'm looking for here. Boom. Uh, stone workers. Workers. Guild hall. Okay, the Umber Beak is the name of the guild hall itself. Oh! I had migrant waves with some grazers that didn't get set up over here. Boop, boop. Okay, done. Smooth, and then yeah, we'll issue some furniture to come in here. Store some blocks, I don't know. Build some random construction. Put up stone statues, eh, I don't wanna start queuing up stone statues. So furniture, chair, Clear the filter. We don't need mass work quality or anything like that. Uh, what I'll do is just line the walls. A bunch of chairs and then tables, same thing. Clear the quality filter. There we are. I suppose if I wanted to make sure we burn through all the low quality furniture to keep the master work for the nobles quarters is I could just go and deck out more of these guild halls without necessarily assigning them. Or just like with the doctor's guild hall, I could go and set it up, invite people from outside to do training lessons and everything like that, just to get some skills going. Like maybe we should set up a weaponsmith and an armorsmith guild hall. It, maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should do exactly that. Caravan has arrived and no complaints. So presumably you are indeed showing up with your wagons. There they are. I mean, nothing has changed from when the human caravans showed up. So that's going to have that too. All right, let's go move goods. Uh, finished. Finished. And select all. Get them going over there. Beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of extra smoothing over here. Looks nice. I like it. All right, you're unloading your goods. Great. Dormitory here. Theoretically, no one's needing to use the dormitory, although not all these bedrooms are um, furnished yet. Mandated construction of certain goods. Spears. I think we already queued up the crowns. Yeah, there they are there. So let's get some more steel spears. They want three this time, so we're halfway to equipping a squad if we want to. Farmer's Guild wants a Grand Guild Hall. Okay. Surprised we have so many farmers in here, considering we're not really emphasizing that task. So that's this over here. They want a lot of value added. I think the easiest way to do it is probably for us to just do some engravings. I'm going to make this a top priority. Um, oh, which means, hold on, my engraver over here. Hopefully you've enjoyed your time off. Let's go and re-enable that for you. So in theory... What's your name? Um, Law. Oh, you're praying right now. Okay. So presumably you're down here. I think that's Claw. No. Nope. Oh, Warfire. Oh, good. You're praying. Hopefully you're. That's helping your mood. You're praying to Asen. You actually want to pray to Shalg. I don't know. You're praying. You're praying. Hopefully it's good. Diplomacy, yes. Continue to press. I've come to empower and elevate this land in the eyes of our realm. Excellent. So what I want to do here is I want to get plump hamlet seeds, pigtail seeds, please. I also want to get 
each thread. You know what? I'll take the silk as well. That's fine. And then under miscellaneous here, we're going to go ahead and specifically ask for all of that. All right. Goods are mostly arrived. Let's go ahead and request our broker, please. And depending on how it goes, I might just literally select everything they've brought and buy them out. All right. Trade. I want to mark everything. Oh, well, we're not going to have enough. We'll be darn close, though. All right. Fort Goods. If I filter for just mugs specifically and select all. Uh, 21 grand. Okay, so it's actually not as much as I'd thought. Let's consider buying all the bars. Uh, I, well, we might, some of these are probably installable instruments, but we'll go and buy more. I think the temples might want some instruments later on too. So we'll go ahead and buy a few. Don't need mini forges. I don't think we need the cages. We'll buy all the barrels. Some of them will have booze, some of them will have lie. That's all good. Some of them will have stuff we don't necessarily care about the same way, but that's fine too. Uh, I'm clearly not going to need to buy spears. We can build our own picks if we need to. But let's buy the clothing. Steel gauntlets, sure. Uh, leather mittens. Well, I guess I can buy all the mittens. The leather ones are going to be used for our military. And then our civilians can just wear the cloth ones. That's fine. Um, we could just buy some chests to... We probably are looking to install some to save us some production. They're made out of wood. I don't know. Or buy all the stuff that's in bags. Oh, wow. The clothing and leather bins is too much. Food is still insanely high. Actually, yeah, I'm just looking to buy most of the plump helmets, I think. All this thread. Oh, whatever. We'll get those. I don't know if we need quivers. I'll get I'll get some and then we'll be fine on that. I bought, I think, plenty of splints and crutches at this point. Buy some paper for whenever I might build a library. Okay, they're still turning tons of profit. Now, we're going to go looking for the bins again. Is that after the clothing? Yeah, there it is. Clothing or cloth leather. Or oh, you're not green. I mean, you should still be very satisfied with these trades, though. I mean, come on. All right, let's go with this. I will offer you this in trade. There you go. You're happy with that, as expected. I mean, that was still a huge profit, but I'm okay with it. I mean, these are dwarves. No trader needed. We can go ahead and release you, and then people will have to do a bunch of hauling. Uh, where are we digging these days? Oh, probably, yeah, down here. That makes sense. So how about the engraving? Who was... Oh, I've already forgotten your name. Claw. What are you up to, Claw? Are you still praying? Oh, you are still praying. Okay. You're actually not very happy right now, so maybe that's good. Do I want to sec set up a second engraver? I think I don't want to, because we really want, like, masterwork engravings to be made. I'll do a low-priority smooth over here. Again, this will be lower priority than other smoothing jobs, not necessarily lower priority than other jobs the dwarves might look at, so they might be doing this before hauling and things, but... So be it. I just want this ready to go for our future guilds. And again, maybe... Well, we're behind on furniture, so I don't know if I want to deck these out yet. But maybe I should set up the Weaponsmith and Armorer's Guild. Anyone come and watch a demonstration? Yeah, so I guess we might not need to build a bolt. If instead we're going to get people to get a little bit of skill in something just by having foreign experts come and give lessons. That's an idea. You know, I kind of wish, and I don't think that's an option. I kind of wish you could just install anvils. Maybe you could do a statue of an anvil just to like decorate these rooms. Some sparring. We have enough dwarves. Uh, we can definitely consider decking out some extra squads. I think it's probably exactly what I should do. I should start to prep a melee squad. 
Um, maybe with the spears, because we're going to have them. Again, I'd kind of rather them have short swords, but I was thinking about maybe having some um, squads with different stuff. We could do one out of spears, one out of short swords, one out of uh, war hammers. Um, in case the war hammers, like bludgeoning ones, are quite good for pulping undead if you get attacked by that specifically. So yeah, we're going to leave these as is. I mean, if we don't have a guild with a specific request, I could just set up the guild halls with nothing, not even doors. Maybe? New guild hall. Weapon. Smiths. And... Yeah, all visitors. Yeah, all visitors are welcome. We can have foreign people come in. There's always the trouble that they might be a were creature, but might be a risk we're willing to take in this situation. New guild hall, armorer's hall, then same thing. Let anyone come and visit for those. So we're hoping to get maybe a little bit of training and teaching going on. Not a very fancy place, but that's going to have to do. All right, Claude's back up here. I think they must have changed their outfit a few times. I don't think they used to go around in white. I do remember them being quite young and having a gray beard, though. So that's certainly the case. Skilled engraver, satisfied at work, frustrated being away. Yeah, you are working a lot. We may have to do a, a few more um, holiday times, but. And then, so hopefully, so pyramid bread, you're working on rocks and tables. And then over here, you have cabinets and coffers. And again, we can confirm we got three people working on it exclusively, so hopefully furniture is getting done relatively often enough. Uh, I'm assuming you're carrying a rock right now. Yeah, that's McLeod carrying a rock to go ahead and make a cabinet. And only a novice at it, but that's fine. We do have three, so maybe I should set up three. I want to leave this one here as our block maker, because otherwise they kind of get in each other's way. But I suppose I may as well slap down, oh, okay. slap down an extra stone workers things we do have three people so if they can all work on things simultaneously that's hardly a bad thing did you ask for something new to be made a yeah, single spear okay steel spear now the other thing you can kind of work on um i think you've got like three months or i think you have three months to deal with these mandates and if you can somehow delay it as long as possible then they won't ask for something else to be made the problem is, A, if you forget it, or B, you queue it up and then it actually takes forever to get done because uh, you've got other things in the queue ahead of it that you don't realize. Uh, that could cause some issues. Although, one of the things with DF hack is the sort command here, which um, I do have it running automatically, um, like every, I don't know, every day or something like that, but you can also click on it manually. What it does is it puts all your one-time jobs at the, at the top of the orders page to get ahead of the repeating tasks. And of course, the other thing I've done in the past is set up automatic repeating tasks for jobs. Like I could have it make it set things up so that it just makes one spear every month, one rock crown every month, one rock ring every month, which should, assuming the workflows are happening correctly, will automatically handle the mandates as they come up without me having to do anything else. I'm still, every time we get a message about it, I'm still gonna have to check, make sure it's a mandate that we're aware of. But we've done that before, so at least I don't have to then respond by queuing something up. And then the other advantage is if it's something where you need three of them, well, theoretically, they're going to be spread out over three months, which should satisfy the mandate, um, while also not causing the mandate to reset and maybe a new order coming in anytime soon. I'm going to change this as well. What am I doing the others? Two? Three? Three. I think we'll do the same thing. Don't over queue at any particular one. I'm wondering if I should limit it down to two. Maybe I'll do that. So there's the current one you're working on and the next one is there. I don't know if this is going to add to the manager workload. Because if things don't get queued up here until the manager does an interaction, is this going to cause the manager to have to do more of them? But I really want to make sure all three are being used. So I don't know the answer to that. Hey, Pyramid Bread. Yeah, hauling some rock salt over here. This is a stone stockpile. Other stone. And the wheelbarrows. And it's not full, but I guess people aren't finding enough time to just haul rocks. Grand G. Rings. Alright, I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll say rock ring. Make one. And repeat... 
monthly. Every month, make me one rock ring, please. And then I don't have to babysit that anymore. Maybe we'll do a few more of those after all. Doing, getting pretty good at making masterwork stuff. Renouf Hull here is doing some great le masterwork leather goods. Now, some of our dwarves, I think leather goods can be used, does count as regular clothing, I think. So our civil, oh man, more migrants. I think our civilians will potentially go and wear those. Ideally, we'd like the masterwork leather good to really be reserved for the military, but I'm not sure that that's something we have control of. Now, I may be wrong. It's possible civilians don't wear the leather gear, but I think they do. I'm going to force an update equipment right now. We also saw green uh, green bolts there, so that's clearly working. Uh, Fishery Workers Guild. Well, I'm going to say yes, otherwise they'll get cranky. But as guild halls go... Huh. Ish. Fishery worker, yeah. There's a few fishing ones, but... Uh, any material? Okay. Huge queue for these doors. Um, and they're definitely going to need some furnishings in door in inside here. Uh, how do I want to work these? Can I make, like, a fish? Not really. And a little tail? I mean, sort of. Listen, I don't want to hear any critique about my awesome art skills, okay? smooth that out all right and hopefully that'll be okay later on meanwhile this room here is getting added value from the engravings it is going to take a while to finish that i could also just dump more furniture in here but other than maybe i should set up a repeating platinum statue job okay actually i will because i don't yeah i did it a one-time order i'm gonna go and add that in now platinum statue we may have to go and mine out some more platinum that's entirely possible um i'm gonna set this to one and keep a couple of statues around because that way this job will be ready if i want to add some value to my guild houses i just have to go and plop down the the the, build, the statues in placement mode and eventually they'll get built um i don't want to see the air this is kind of full here but i wouldn't mind seeing errors for hey you don't have enough platinum bars i think what i'm gonna do this floor here no that's the wrong one closer to the surface we had yeah, more platinum available here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go dig. Low priority, that's fine. Um, dig only ore and gems. I'm not even putting on the auto mode necessarily. Do that and then be ready to potentially cancel. I don't think any of this is going to breach the edge in any way whatsoever. No, I think we're okay. Yeah, that'll cover out a few more gems too, which is okay. Ooh, um, Crafts Wharf Guild. Okay. We did get a bunch of new pops, so a bunch of things are right on the edge here. Um, oh. Oh. Do that. So yeah, these rooms are all occupied. Okay. Crafts Dwarfs. I gotta remember this. Fisher Dwarfs are hanging out in here. And they're gonna spend a bunch of time here talking about fishing and how I don't let anyone fish. And why would I? We don't need it. Is this still the same two cranky dwarves? Yep. And I'm trying. I, I tried to make them happier. I mean, at what point do we decide to expel them? I mean, hopefully they don't get so cranky that they start throwing a fit. Or fire, like seriously. Um. Just me or no, okay. It's a little bit weird. Oh, I think you're hauling something that's so long it's being printed over here. That's what's going on. Oh, and again, I'm apologizing if someone's uh, suggested something to maybe um, fix 
the um, the happiness on this character. Again, there's a lot of pre-recording going on here, so I may not have been I'm I'm not able to respond in real time. Uh, the incinerated fellowship wants a temple. Okay, and the craft dwarfs. And I gotta remember more things here. I think we'll have some more normal looking temples here or hmm. Maybe we do this. That's really big. That's still plenty big. All right. Go go temple. I think I'm building this for the craft dwarfs? Question mark. And I don't think um What's it called? Uh demands requests. I thought there was a command that in DF hack that might oh petitions that's what it's called but no there's no if there's a command to, to remind me of what these petitions are I have forgotten it and there's nothing built in so this is a meeting area over here except go here new guild hall which I think was for craft dwarf there we go and if we filter this yeah okay so this has not been established now it is although it certainly won't be pretty enough. that we'll get some furniture in there later i mean we've got such a backlog for a freaking furniture here <sighs> i guess all right we might change this later we need to catch up there's been just so much demand i'm putting down three more stone workers workshops and i'm going to add some more in here some more stone crafting now, a bunch of people already have tasks then we have some people without any jobs um let me get a second we already have two planters You're, I was gonna say, no, you're not in the military. The Mace Dwarf, or maybe you are. Yeah, you must be recruited because it's showing a military title. As I said, but we don't have a Mace Dwarf thing, but this is someone who's, they, you can see their crossbow here. Their best skill is just Mace Dwarf. Um, Eurastus, I'm gonna throw you into this as well. So we're gonna have three dedicated planters again. And wait, that's notice because of other things I was booting up here. So these guys all have jobs. The miller and this beekeeper. And this presser. You're not going to make high quality furniture, but... Which isn't going to help to achieve certain values in our guilds and things like that. But at this point, I think we just need to start cramping out, cranking out some furniture of some kind. And hopefully we can make up the value with statues and engravings. Any chance this migrant wave has like a, another strong engraver? Nope chance we have things that need to graze yep okay all right oh my god i'm over an hour on this video no wonder my, my, my wow my voice is really sore today that's because quill you can't shut up and stop playing dwarf fortress i'm so happy to be playing dwarf fortress again it hasn't even been that long since the last time we played it. it's been forever since we did a youtube only series but what a beautiful brilliant game this is so great i hope you're enjoying it I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.